America, best-selling authors of lists that saved my business, and founders of the Extreme Customer Service Directory, Angel Tussie and Eric Raymer are inspiring you to get your business right. They know the customer experience isn't just another thing, it's the only thing. Let's join Angel and Eric for today's program. Hello and welcome to the Experience Pros Radio Show with Angel and Eric. Very nice to have you along with us today. We are here to remind you that small business is big business and your business is our business. Angel, still down in Miami, and uh, that means we get to have a guest host in and a first-time guest host with us, but maybe not the last time, Kyle Cook with CrossFit South Denver. How are you, man? I'm well, Eric. How are you doing today? You're doing fantastic. Thank you so much for joining us and hanging out with us. Yeah, man, uh, I really appreciate it. It's it's going to be. Uh, I promise you, you're gonna, we're going to have fun. We're going to we're going to um, probably uh, come up with something that uh, nobody's ever thought of before. That's, That's the just hope. Kind of the way we roll uh, around here, and we will get to know Kyle a little bit better in our next segment. But uh, you know, I, I kind of I don't believe in coincidence. Kyle, and, and one of the cool things uh, that, uh, that that happened just just moments ago is, you know, I, the, the first the first segment of our program, we tend to look for what's happening in the in the market today. What's what's going on? Who's who's writing about stuff that's that's uh, relevant to our our audience? Yeah. And uh, Julian Hayes the second, who's the founder of the Art of Fitness and Life, um, wrote an article in Inc.com today. And the article is six tiny habits that will make you smarter, confident, and more productive. And I, I thought, oh, hold on here. The guy is the founder of the art of fitness and life. You own a CrossFit, uh, uh, there's a coincidence, right? Jim, there. right? Yeah. Like, holy cow. Here we go. So, um, I'm all for being more, uh, productive. And and certainly, uh, confidence comes. I think. I think. Would you agree that that uh, the most successful people in your industry tend to have a swagger? They do. Right? They, you can tell when they walk in the door. They're right. they're very energetic, happy to be alive. They know what they're doing. They know what they're doing. Yeah. Everybody's and, happy to be around them. And there it is. Uh, high performers such as Jeff Bezos and Sa uh, Sheryl Sandberg stay mentally sharp by making sleep a non-negotiable activity in their life. Uh, you probably know a thing or two about yeah. the value of sleep. Yeah. I, go, I go to bed about 9, 15, wake up at 4, 45. Now, come on, dude. How, how old are you? I'm 31. 31 yeah. years old and you're going, going to bed at 9, 15? I have to. My my uh, my girlfriend also works quite early. She's all a, right. uh, a physician's assistant at the University of Colorado. So all right. we're all, all about right. helping people. And your body requires. I mean, you ask a lot out of it when, when you're awake, right. Yeah. right? So your body requires uh, the refuel. Uh, when you're mentally sharp and not only you're not only growing and evolving at a faster pace in life, but you're also operating with that more confidence. And with that said, in order to stay sharp, to stay more confident and operate as highly productive uh, as possible, we submit to you these six tiny steps. Number one, commit to exercising. Now, I don't know about you, and we just met here today, Kyle, but yeah. um, my guess is that there is nothing tiny about the way that you exercise. Um, I, it's a good majority of my life, Eric. Yeah, um, right. I opened a business and it is solely devoted to that. Folks, yeah. if, if you could see, and, and I welcome, uh, we've got uh, listener Robert, uh, uh, you might, might remember uh, the name Robert. I was just telling you his story. He's yeah. the, uh, the addiction counselor who, uh, is, is working with us in a regular program, uh, contributor here on this program. Um, he's, he's watching this. If you can see, uh, on the Facebook live post that we're doing right now, uh, Kyle's muscles have muscles. No, uh, no, 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 no. I, I'm telling you what, man, I'm a, a very impressive physique, especially for being 31 years old. But the fact of the matter is exercise does more than just physically uh, builds us up. It, it mentally stimulates us. It releases those endorphins, right? Correct. Um, and more importantly, it actually produces, like you said, those endorphins that actually promote a happier Right. Um, maybe I'll, I'll use this word, a, a happier aura. I don't know if All right. some people don't subscribe to that word, but um, get over yourselves. Yeah, get over. I'll, I'll buy it. A happier aura. Yeah. Um, you know, when you put, and even if if you, you know, I hear a lot of of excuses <laughs> that come up, yeah. and then most of the excuses are I just don't have time uh, to take time out of my, and and one of the things we say is if you don't take time for wellness, 
you will be forced to take time for illness. For, yeah, right. Yes. Chronic disease is it, a big, big issue in this country. It's rampant. So uh, here, here's the next thing. Uh, if, if you want to, again, uh, stay more confident, get more sharp, be more productive, um, focus on learning new skills. And, you know, by that, um, doing the things that you have never done before. Not just going back to the old things that we always do all the time, but, but to, to focus on things that you've never done. I, I, um, I remember when I started, uh, getting back into the workout scene and, um, somebody asked me to go do a Pilates class. Yeah. That's, I thought that was for girls. No, 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 no. It is difficult. I took a Pilates class yeah. and, and let me just be clear. I took one Pilates class. <laughs> And Kyla couldn't walk for a week. No, it works those little muscles. Oh. We, don't, we don't like to. We don't like to work when we're not paying attention, right? Yeah. Uh, but but you know maybe learning a new language or uh, salsa dancing. If you've never done something like that, take on a skill uh, that that you've never done before. And uh, when you learn those new skills, uh, you tend to to work on that that. Uh, um, memory and the cognition that's, that's necessary to tie it all together. It's again, more than just the physical, it, it affects, uh, the, the intellectual. And just just to interject really quick. Um, Please. the fun thing about exercise as well is, um, just to get uh, a little wordy here for a second. Sure. Um, your brain usually resorts to using glucose. The thing that, you know, we eat, your body pulls it from apples, oranges, right. Wendy's, unfortunately, sometimes, right? But the, <laughs> the bigger thing um, that the brain actually uses more proficiently or better um, is lac excuse me, uh, lactase. Lactase. Correct. So right. when you actually exercise, you emit or you produce lactase. Uh, right now, you and I are not producing lactase. We are just chilling, right? We're just right, sitting here. Right. Um, but when you go through certain um, domains of exercise or if you and me cardiovascularly got after it for a good 20, 30 minutes, we right. start to pr produce lactase. And then our mind would actually be able to use that as a fuel source as opposed to uh, a glucose. So it'd be kind of like using a 91 octane as opposed to an 85. Come on now. Yeah, so oh, that's, so that's what you want, right? Nice. And that's going to make you mentally sharp. It does. Uh, because it's, it's 91 octane. I mean, there we go. you put it in terms I can understand. I, I'm not the brightest bulb in the knife drawer, Neither am I. but I promise I got that. Okay. Uh, all right. The third step here, excuse me, according to Julian Hayes is to expose yourself to new ideas and environments it says as humans, we love certainty and the familiarity. Unfortunately, when you're addicted to those two things, you also increase your odds of remaining stagnant in both life and in business. So growth happening outside your comfort zone is a cliche. However, it's also true. Think of famous painters and inventors, uh, excuse me, innovators among the many. Uh, and you'll notice that they've ventured outside of the, the thing. Have, have you ever, um, you ever jumped out of a perfectly good airplane? I, I personally have not. No, no, I'm, no. Crazy people do that. I, I, yeah, people we know. <laughs> yeah. Crazy people. I, I, yeah, I stand by it just just because I, I've never done it. We'll never do it, and yeah. uh, and, and it's not on my bucket list by any stretch of the imagination. But doing something like that, stepping out of your normal environment and going in and doing something extreme. Again, you're talking about endorphins and adrenaline and the value that it has in causing laser focus yep. uh, is, is a good thing. You, your mind would remember that forever. <laughs> it, would, it would adapt to the understanding that I might do that again. Yeah. So My mind would remember ah! uh, For, forever. Correct. Yeah. Uh, let's go back to talk a little bit about sleep. Uh, as a high performer, one of the most important traits of uh, your success Hinges on uh, the value of sleep. Ariana Huffington of the Huffington Post um, passed out one day, and this was a couple of years ago, okay. but it changed the entire trajectory of her life. Because when she passed out, of course, she's Ariana Huffington, so they erased her to the hospital. The doctors did all the, the preliminaries or whatever, and they, they came up with uh, sleep deprivation as being her, her issue. Yeah. And, you know, when you're building an empire, and I would suggest to you that, Huffington has one. It does. Uh, that, um, you know, you know, when you're building that empire, you, you just go, 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 go. And, uh, it catches up to you. I, I don't think we can possibly, and, and, and Ariana Huffington would, would agree with this. You can't possibly overstate the value of sleep no, and no. The, in the healing cycle of, of what we do. 
um, human growth hormone, human growth hormone, HGH, right? HGH. We mm -hmm. all talk about it, Barry yep. Bonds, but, but um, that is what is released after a good two hours of REM sleep. Really? Yeah. Um, so you, you devoting eight hours or randomly taking a two hour nap, right? It starts to devote that extra little process that we like to use. And there it is, folks. Ways to stay sharp, focus, and whatnot. Uh, listen, when we come back, we got more positive business talk. We're going to dial in uh, Kyle's business, CrossFit of South Denver. Stick with us. This is the Experience Pros Radio Show, home of positive business talk. You're listening to the Experience Pros Radio 